What's up, everybody? This is Kyphus Kane here, and I'm here to give you a Revolver Commissar build. I know it's a little bit of heresy running a Kyphus Kane cosplay without a LAS pistol, but hey, we work with what we have. Um, the Revolver build is pretty popular now, and I see a lot of veterans run it, but I think I have a pretty unique take on it, and should allow you to do some pretty crazy things. So, join me in the Cycanium, and I'll show you how the build works, break down the weapons, the talents, and the curios that I would recommend you use. And uh, finally, I'll be uploading another uh, gameplay commentary using this build in Quick Play or Damnation, so you can actually see how I use it in real practice. So, without further ado, join me in the Cycanium, and we'll go over the talent tree, and the build, and the weapons. Uh, but real quick, just to give you a teaser of how this will work, or how this will function. I have not yet found another build in the game that can do this as quickly as this build can, but we'll also be able to get all the regular breakpoints pretty easily, so I hope you all have fun with it. Now that I have your attention, let's go into the build. So I'll start off with the weapons and curios. Uh, for your melee weapon, it doesn't really matter what you choose to bring. Uh, I like to run the Mark VI Power Sword because the stab attack is really good at killing big things like bosses or crushers. Uh, and the regular light attacks are great for getting pox walkers and things out of your way. But uh, really, you can use whatever you want. Combat axes, uh, chainsword, knife, katachan sword, they'll all work uh, perfectly well with this build. And we'll get a little bit of synergy out of our talents with it, uh, especially for headshot damage. Next up, the bread and butter, our Zorona Mark IIA Quick Draw Stub Revolver. So for this weapon, you're going to want to have, on the stats... Um, as high of damage, penetration, and critical shot bonus as you can get. Your mobility and your reload speed are your dump stats. Uh, for reload speed, having a higher one is more useful, but as long as you have over 50%, uh, the build will still work and uh, you won't feel it too hard. Mobility is obviously your dump stat, uh, but having more of it will give you more dodges, more dodge speed, and dodge distance. But uh, really, we don't care that much. We only care about these three stats, damage, penetration, and crit bonus. For the perks, I like to take Carapace Armor and Maniac Carapace to deal with Maulers and Crushers, because in Auric Damnation there are quite a few of those. And being able to take them out really quickly with just a frag grenade and a headshot um, is really good at helping your team get um, prevent them from getting cornered by a bunch of elites. Maniac damage, I would say, is pretty mandatory because what it allows you to do is one-shot most specials to the body, and uh, being able to kill them quickly is going to be a great benefit to your team. But you don't need to run Carapace. You can sub this out for unyielding or flak damage, and it will work just fine. But the blessings are really where uh, we need specific things, and this is no secret. Everybody knows with the revolver, you're going to take hand cannon and surgical. Now, hand cannon... Uh, I have the th uh, level 3 blessing. If you have level 4, that's great. But um, even if you have level 2, it will still work just fine. Um, but for surgical, we really do want the tier 4 blessing. Because getting our crit chance up as quickly as possible while we're aiming is going to be very important to this build. So that's the weapons. Uh, now for the curios. I like to run two toughness curios. Um, with stamina regen, sprint efficiency, extra toughness, toughness regen... Just whatever you're feeling. Uh, if you want to run damage resistance against gunners or whatever, that's fine. But the main reason we're going to be running toughness is because we're taking the um, voice of command, the shout. So having more toughness means we get more efficiency out of our shout. It'll replenish more toughness and we'll just be harder to down. Uh, lastly, we do need one stamina curio. I highly recommend you take a stamina 3 if you have it. Um, because we're going to be using Deadshot, and Deadshot, the way it works now after patch 14, drains a fixed amount of stamina rather than a percentage. So the more stamina we have, the longer we can keep Deadshot up, and the um, safer we'll be in melee. So now on to the talents. I'll go through these really quickly, but the general idea of this build is we want to be able to make enough space for ourselves to take out specials and elites quickly. So to that end, we're going to take Long Shot with Volley Adept. This is going to help us a lot with our reloads. And Frag Grenades. Frag Grenades are a little bit of an unsung hero in a lot of vet builds. Uh, they help you deal with hordes. They buy time when big mob spawns pop in. Uh, they can absolutely wipe out hound packs. There's a lot of good things about this. 
And since we're running a hand cannon stub revolver, we don't really need crack grenades. Um, what we would be using crack grenades for, we're going to use our revolver for. So you can take crack grenades if you want. Uh, probably you'll have to give up kill zone to do it, but it's really a personal preference thing. I would recommend the frag grenades. Next up, we're going to take back in the fight for when our toughness does eventually get broken. We're going to get some stamina back. Um, in case we were aiming with dead shot and we ran out of stamina, this is a great way to get your stamina back and you can immediately shout to get your toughness back. Then we need to take survivalist because the revolver is very ammo inefficient. It's probably its biggest weakness. Uh, you really don't want to be shooting this thing at anything that's not an elite or a special unless you absolutely have to because uh, the ammo conservation is going to become a concern. Next up, we're going to take Kill Zone. This is going to help us with one-shotting Dreg Ragers to the body. Uh, and it also is just giving us another little damage boost that synergizes really nicely with Long Shot. Uh, this is a flex talent. You don't have to take it to make the build work, but I do prefer it. Uh, next up is going to be Demolition Stockpile to get those frag grenades back. And Voice of Command with Duty and Honor. This is pretty mandatory in this build because it's going to allow you to have the staying power needed to stand and fight while still being able to do your job and kill all the specials and elites. Next up, we have, uh, well, first of all, we have about six talent points that you can flex. These that I'm showing on the screen right now are the talents that you absolutely have to take in order to make this work. Uh, the highlights is precision strikes for 30% extra weak spot damage. This works on both your melee weapon and your revolver. Uh, we need to have dead shot. The, uh, by taking dead shot, what we're doing is we're giving ourselves a base 30% crit chance whenever we aim with our revolver. That means if we aim for just two seconds with our um, surgical uh, surgical blessing, uh, we'll be at 100% crit. So you can guarantee critical hits, and the only way you can do that quickly and reliably is by taking dead shot. Next up, we're going to take these three nodes, Tactical Awareness, Bring It Down, and Superiority Complex. This is going to help you hit certain breakpoints, do more damage to monstrosities, and it's just going to make your life easier. Uh, tactical Awareness is one that you should always be taking in pretty much every vet build because um, reducing your combat ability by six seconds killing specialists, which is what your job is, uh, is just too important to give up. Lastly, for the keystone talents in this, I'm saying keystone loosely, we don't actually have keystones, but uh, it's going to be agile engagement. Because it's a quick draw stub revolver, uh, it's very easy to switch between it and your melee weapon. So this is a very easy way to guarantee you're always getting a 25% damage boost. Um, now for my build, I like to fill this out with the middle tree. And we go like this. We take confirmed kill for extra toughness to make ourselves harder to down. Uh, we take Competitive Urge as another way to stack up our bonus damage, and we take Rending Strikes. Rending Strikes will make it so you have either 80 or 90% rending on critical hits with your revolver, and that is going to make killing big things extremely easy. It's also going to help a little bit with your uh, melee weapon between Rending Strikes and Precision Strikes. Uh, these two combined will let you do some pretty nutty things with all sorts of melee weapons. Uh, so that is the build, that's the talents, the weapons, and the curios. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of what this can do. So uh, as you can see, if we remove the kill zone bonus, we can still one-shot headshot most things in the game. I don't think I hit that bomber in the head. But if we take out our melee weapon and we kill this, now we can one-shot almost every enemy. It can one-shot the crushers if you have either Agile Engagement or Competitive Urge up, but you do need enough space for the long shot bonus to kick in. So it's not exactly super reliable, but what is reliable is if you have it and you're close, if you get that crit headshot, just one quick shot to the body and it will die. Same thing with a mauler. If you get a crit headshot and one body shot, it will die. Uh, same thing if you like throw a grenade, you aim in, wait for that to tip a little bit, dead mauler. So there's a lot of ways that this build helps you solve problems and make space for yourself, um, especially with the power sword and the frag grenades, but like I said, for the melee weapon you can really run whatever you'd like. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I hope you like this take on the revolver build, I know there are quite a few out there, but... Uh, I think if you give this build a shot, you'll find that it, it just kind of does more damage. Um, it's pretty frequent that I'll get top damage with this, and I 
regularly kill over 100 specials when I play Orc Maelstrom and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for joining me, and I hope you learned something. Now go kill some heretics.